And so what, what we built, what, what we then decided to build was a USSD application that would then, in, in having, having in mind, we want to help the, the healthcare industry. So we wanted to use the USSD um, and configure it and, and make it personalized so that any user of a healthcare industry, that is generally everybody, every, anyone can use such an application. So this, this is our application, we call it Uwezo. It's an application you can use to get healthcare services. We have different levels of the Uwezo application. We saw it best to have the, the very first one as an emergency response, such that if you cannot call, I mean, in, in, in normal locations, you cannot call for help if you don't have airtime, you cannot uh, SMS for help. And so we thought it would be best to have emergency as, as, as the first so as the first option, so that if you're in an emergency situation, you would then be able to get um, help very quickly, very efficiently, and very affordable. We also have number three as finding the nearest health facility. We have number four as mental health information, which we all know in this day and age is one of the most important uh, factors we, we need to consider. What you don't see on, on the back is that we have language files that um, that you, a user can then be able to to select. We, we want we want the user to be the top priority. We want the user to to have the the, the easiest user journey. Um, it's been an interesting time here at Africa's Talking HQ. I've met someone from South Sudan, I've met someone from Uganda, and I've met my fellow countrymen. So it shows the broad spectrum in which Africa's talking events is taken with. Today's theme was using, uh, incorporating t mobile 2G to improve the healthcare delivery. Today's experience, it was so good and great. I've learned a lot for my second time here. It was a nice day to me. Um, I've learned different ways of approaching healthcare as a basic human need, especially with regards to technology. Um, in our different cocoons and in our different professions, we tend to approach healthcare in different ways. But I've learned how to approach it in a cheaper and more accessible manner, especially with the use of different means of technology, code and different machines. Yeah, so I believe that is something new I've learned today. Technology is always evolving, so you always need to continuously innovate every day, every minute. Yes. We want the users to have such such a short process, with something very something very understandable, something the common monarchy can can use and understand and be able to to interact with. Uh, I've learned that teamwork, teamwork is a, is a, is a key thing in any, any project that you are working on. Uh, today we have learned how to collaborate, first of all, working in a team, which was the next day to me. We came here as a team, but uh, we found that due to the nature of where we work, we were needed to advise different teams. Our idea was called DPMS. DPMS is uh, short for DUOP Patient Management System, or DUOP Migua Patient Management System, sorry. 
Duot Migoa means best way in Nuer. Nuer is a language in South Sudan. We came up with the queue management system because it's, that is something we are looking into currently. And we wanted to integrate different modules and not just have a traditional queue management system that says ticket number this, go here. So in a nutshell, it will even give more information to a doctor about why a patient is attending a visit at a hospital and even help the process go faster by reducing the turnaround time. Once you log into the app, it's based on Ionic, which is uh, for mobile apps. It will give you the splash screen, as you can see. So you just slide through it. At this space, we have um, whether you're using the app as a patient or as a doctor. So if you're a first-time user, you'll have to fill in your bio data, which is your first name, your last name, your blood group. Um, someone will wonder why you're asking for a blood group. Um, in uh, our conceptualization, you are thinking maybe you'd be in an, in an emergency, and if you're using the app, we'll be able to see this person is blood group this and this. And so, if you need blood, then we are not guessing, and we don't have to do a test. Okay, our solution is more. Of, it's almost like the 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 Uber of the medical field, whereby somebody at home is able to make an order for a product, let's say a product like Panado or maybe insulin, which is uh, mostly in very short supply. So you have a patient who has diabetes, and at just from the home, somebody makes an order for the product, just like Uber, and it is brought, the product is brought to the home of the patient. Uh, we came up with a solution of uh, MedStruck, which will be helping, helping the clients or the customers, reminding them to take their medicine on time. Mm, we should sp specify that weight is in kilograms and height is in meters. And based on that, it will calculate your BMI. And the appointment is where you can book an appointment and you can also view previous appointments. Ideally, uh, we want to help our clients and our visitors to move around the hospital effectively. So basically what you can see here is just a, a, a registration form that can maybe be installed in a tablet or a tablet that can be able to run any Windows-based or Linux-based operating system that whereby you can be able to key in a patient's name, they give you their phone number, they specify their purpose of visit and the intended destination point. The guys who are the service station, they will also get an SMS alert confirming that patient, say for example like Morris, his tracking number is GT11, you're supposed to expect that guy in the next five minutes and uh, this is his tracking number. At the same time, the patient also, or the guy who is supposed to be attended to, will also get a notification uh, that also will give, will give them their, will, that will also identify where they're supposed to go, the directions, and the particular tracking ID that they have been assigned to. So as you can see, this is basically a Java-based application. So what we've done is, this small dashboard is, at the moment it is generalized, but now, Considering the specific divisions that we may have, like say for example, renal, oncology, outpatient, etc. So each particular service station will be only receiving tracks that are based on, that are, that, are, that are assigned to that particular destination. So basically that is just about it concerning our application. So the whole idea is communication and reducing inefficiencies within our organization by taking, by taking advantage of Africa's Talking Bulk SMS API. My name is uh, Arthur Mude. Previously, I was a software developer, but now I am mostly on the business. I'm Baiji Ngawire Beti. My name is Agnes Mwangi, a student at the Catholic University of Eastern Africa. My name is Gilbert Regan, Najibunia Kwamkeni.